Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you need to get information from people, it's usually good to get it uh, on a voluntary basis. You really wouldn't want to extract information from someone involuntarily. Give me your information now! That's not usually a good way of getting the right information, or at least the correct information. So if you're going to collect information from people online, the easiest way to do it is to build a form. We've talked about how you can build your own form in Google Spreadsheets and then share that out to the web for free. That's how we take uh, blogger, uh, I guess, what, are they, what, what do you call it? Uh, blogger requests, blogger submissions uh, for blogging on Locker Gnome. We just use a Google Spreadsheet. But, you know, there's really no easy way of building a form. I mean, a powerful easy way of building a form. Sure, you could roll your own. You could go to a, 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 an absolute genius and then pay out the nose to have a form built, only to realize that you need to change the options at some point down the road, and then it costs you even more money. Oh, all you want to do is just build a form. But you need it to be a very specific kind of form. You have certain needs, but you're not a technical type of person. Or maybe you are a technical type of person, you just don't have enough time. So if you fit into any of these categories, then this resource, jotform.com, that's jot as in jot things down, form.com, jotform.com, uh, was a resource passed along to me by Rakesh, and he's also sent along other resources at uh, points in the past that we've recorded videos on. So this was uh, no exception. Excellent, excellent resource. I have seen web-based form builders before. This one takes the cake. Not only is it easy, not only do you just jump right in and start building your form, but it's powerful too. Like you can go in here and you can add payment tools to your form. They've got support for PayPal, Google Checkout. I mean, the list kind of goes on and on. I mean, those are the, the two biggies, obviously. Uh, different power tools. So if you want to extend your, uh, your uh, form and include a CAPTCHA, and a CAPTCHA, if you haven't seen that, is like an image that pops up and then you have to type in the letters or the numbers to verify that you are a human being. You can include a CAPTCHA inside your form. And there is a free account. So the free account will accept 100 submissions through your form. Uh, paid account, you can accept unlimited. Uh, but for the most part, unless you get a lot of people that are using your form, um, you'll be fine just you know using the free version. Now that form will of course be hosted Let's say you want to host your own. Yeah, you can do that. All I got to do here is go, oh, let's see here. Look at the source and look at that. Option two, copy full source code of your form. That's it. You can copy and paste that anywhere. You can go here, build a form for free, make it as powerful or as simple as you want it to be. And I'm not going to say it's like everything to everybody, but let me tell you, like right off the bat, and, and I, there's no bat here or anything there. So it kind of smells like guano if you get... No, there's no bat here. No dark knight. No no guano. Uh, but uh, right off the... <laughs> right when you get here, you can jump in, start doing your form. Uh, you'll see that they've actually got some uh, presets here, including a, a drop-down list of countries, a drop-down list of states. Uh, you can go in and you can add text box, headings, text. You can log in, of course. You can get your premium account. Um, they've got a, a fact there, too, so you can dive in further to see if this is going to be a service for you. But if you host the form through them, then you can update your form here on this website. And then, of course, when you update your form, it will update wherever you've embedded that form. That's what's kind of nice about it. So jotform.com, out of every single form builder that I've seen, for collecting information. That's what you would use a form for. That's what you use. You've used forms before. Trust me. You've used them. Whether you know that you're using a form, you're using a form. When you sign up for an account somewhere, that's a form. It's a very simple form, but it's a form. You always wanted to build your own? Here's how you do it. Jotform.com. Thanks again, Rakesh. I really do appreciate you reaching out. He has used this service, and then he realized after he'd been using it for a while, he's like, well, I should tell Chris. He did, and I, I do appreciate it. He sent an email to me directly. You could have used my form. A lot of people do use my form. I realized the other day that I have 700 uh, emails uh, that came through that form that I didn't realize came through in the past month. I get a lot of requests, as you can imagine. 
My email address is chris at perola.com. You're also welcome to join us in our chat room. It's not so much of a form, really no line, nothing to fill out. You just jump in. Of course, you can register in the chat room. There's instructions uh, there if you're uh, what they call a regular. You don't have to be regular. You just have to be a regular for us to know who you are and to get voice here, like Desert Warrior or is XX owns XY? Does she have voice as well? iPhone's got voice. That's what we call it when you have voice. So in, when you're trusted users, then you can actually participate in the videos that we record in some official capacity. Anyway, of course, Cat has voice. She's my boss. Yeah, don't rub it in. So there, that settles that one once and for all. Anyway, if you, you'd like to talk tech with the rest of us, you're welcome to stop by. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking about hardware, software, internet services, fun stuff. You never really know what's going to happen. Just join us in the chat room and watch this live video feed starring me and sometimes my dogs. Mostly my dogs. And me. Anyway, we're at live.perillo.com. We'll eat you later.